So today I'm supposed to cross the, the mountains and I come back to Manali more or less. But as you can see, that is already raining. Over there, which is actually where I'm heading right now, it's already raining. Will be a very nice day. Over there, it's also raining. I don't know. Uh, I'm not stopping here for a um, uh, day more just because the forecast for tomorrow is even worse. So let's try. I'm more or less ready for the rain. Finger crossed. You have no idea what happened. I was not recording because it was snowing, uh, raining, uh, just, and actually it was a part where I was already best coming to Tule. Basically there was a convoy of military vehicles. They were just standing in a, in a queue because they cannot, couldn't manage to pass because of some other trucks on their side. I tried to pass on the right side. There was a lot of um, mud. The front tire uh, went just a little bit on the slope of the um, uh, where there was, you know, the end of the tarmac and the starting of um, mud, and I fell with the, the whole motorbike in half meter of mud. <sighs> Look, when I say half meter, I mean uh, it was here. Here a little bit less because it was then you know for bended on the other side but look still full mostly the rear part less the, the front one uh, really impossible 
impossible to move it. Luckily, you know, it was full convoy of uh, military, so they gave me a help. Gave me a help. In the beginning, they tried just, you know, to pull. Uh, so they bent this one, uh, trying to pull. Then they used uh, some kind of uh, metal, uh, huge metal stick. They put it here, and they managed to at least to lift uh, the the front tire to put it back on the on the tarmac. But uh, this part here was completely, you know, under the 20 centimeter under the uh, mud, so it was really stuck. Uh, the engine, 5,000 meters, no way to to push out from the mass the the motorbike. Then I convinced them to use a rope. They took a rope. We put it here around. We connect to the um, to the truck. Uh, it broke like this, like if it was uh, made out of uh, paper. Then finally they took like a chain uh, this dimension. Uh, I think no, okay now it's more dirty than everything but no I cannot see the the scratches and marks but it's pretty the scratched but uh, I don't care uh, really bad situation really really bad if I was alone or just with let's say a car, random car passing, uh, I was still there. Uh, look. <sighs> okay, but I stopped here also because I wanted to show you this amazing beauty. Look. I'm not sure there was this snow when I when I passed here ten days ago. It's luckily it was has been raining and uh, snowing in the uh, last days. Uh, very beautiful. Okay, let me go. Ah, in the meanwhile, I broke the this one because of the vibration. You see. Uh, what else I broke? This is. Uh, you cannot see, but uh, it's broken, so I cannot uh, use the 360 camera. What else I broke? Something else for sure, but now I don't remember and tired. Okay, let me go. Ah, this is what else uh, I, I broke. Well, actually, I broke. I, I lost it. Uh, it. I was riding, uh, it just disappeared. <laughs> Look at this place. So I, I found it uh, here, and actually it was really dangerous because I uh, I couldn't even uh, pull over on the side of the of the street on the road. I had to stop where I was because it got stuck uh, between the frame and the fork. Ah, what a tough day, guys! And now there are something like. 30 bands Don't tell me that I don't show you nice landscapes huh? This is like uh, top 3, top 5 huh? This is unbelievable.
they used exactly one of that chain I think, I think you can pull uh, another track with that one I was a little bit worried that they could uh, start the track uh, too fast and <laughs> tear apart uh, my, my fork Oh my god I think for uh, 2022 I have enough for uh, low traction environments huh? Oh my god
and now if I'm not wrong this uh, river crossing not this one I have also this one which is more annoying than it that that it appears I got uh, that is not the one I was thinking Ali Mortacci Ostra Somehow I had the feeling uh, I already crossed it uh, Maybe there was not enough water and I didn't recognize or uh, I don't know Oh So what? My what how deep it is <laughs> yeah, for sure there is much more snow than uh, last week I don't remember so much snow Whoa. <clears throat> Yeah, for sure uh, Actually today I was not recording but I, I got snow twice not even once and it was like uh, you know li little little flakes of snow uh, but so little and hard it's like a more than snow more like a very small hail uh, and it was getting into my eyes like thousands of nails it was so painful so difficult to, to ride I couldn't see anything for 1850 meters so beautiful I'm happy because you know it's the same part that I passed like 10 days ago and uh, it's completely different with the snow on top of the opposite direction uh, which also makes everything different Wow! No! No! <laughs> No, come on. I hope you can see the sun in front. I can. <laughs> it's unbelievable. No, really, it's something incredible. If you cannot see because of the sun, I'm sorry, but I'm almost crying.
is a, a river on my, on my road. <laughs> and now, but I lost the stone, so... Incredible. I'm still thinking to stop for a while. Stupid. dangerous and <laughs> scooter driver minutes to go, no actually 10 kilometers to go to reach the uh, hotel uh, I don't even know how but I managed to <laughs> to arrive before uh, the complete darkness the road here like everywhere uh, today but uh, especially in the last kilometers uh, it's full of uh, from time to time it's full of uh, stones on the ground I think it has been raining uh, quite badly here as well. Look at these mountains. Yeah, you see? Okay, here we go. I reached the little village. The hotel should be here mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, what a long day <laughs> look at the seat uh, probably you cannot see that it's completely covered by mud I did it. My god guys, <laughs> I'm done. I'm destroyed. This is to give you an idea of the level of the mud. This is just uh, you know 20 centimeters because it was at the roadside. <laughs> this is still here, so I was with the till the knee inside of the mud. It's crazy. So, okay, this is my room for tonight. 800 rupees, which is 10 euros, more than okay. This is the little toilet. And I should even have a, a terrace. Whoa! No lights. If you also like the video, please let me know with a comment or a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I see you.